Yes, everybody say thank you, Mr. Panda. <laughs> Anyway, uh, thank you very much for coming out. Cheers, you guys. How do you say, how do you say cheers? Yeah, how do you say cheers and hold? I'm, I'm learning. Ignorant American, but I'm learning. Anyway, we're going to turn it over to the British guy now, since we're drinking. It's probably the right thing to do. Okay, um, here's the thing. Where I come from, it's okay to talk to an audience whilst looking at the floor. I hope it's the same here. Because I need to tune up whilst telling you about this next song. That's time management at its finest. So, don't think I'm being rude. I just want these notes to be real notes. Um, so this next song is kind of a ballad. Um, it's as close to a ballad as I could manage. And it came about because I was thinking one day about our very special friends in the band. Characters like this. Some of you may be familiar with the exploits of Oink, who sounds like this. <laughs> and I guess when, when I wrote this song, we were experiencing a kind of lull in our relationship with these Broadway fellows. When they first started playing with us, they were participating all the time, having all sorts of crazy farmyard fun at unexpected moments in various songs. And then they kind of lost the will to rock a little bit. And we were going through a phase where they were just sitting on our amplifiers, watching us do all the hard work. And that made me sad. So I wrote a ballad about it and called it Pig's Day Off. I'm heartened to report that this tour of Europe seems to be cheering our animals up ever so slightly. And you never know what might happen tonight. We shall see. But first, the sad song. Pig's day off, coming up in approximately three seconds. 